Hey guys, Mrs. Vance here. All right, so we are ready to color and I've got lots of options in front of me to kind of walk you through. Um, you're gonna pick one, maybe two uh, for your project. The first thing I want you to do though is make sure that you've erased out any of that extra pencil that remains just so that we have the best canvas for our coloring, uh, making sure that we don't have any pencil left because Pencil sometimes gets like solidified in once we color so we can't erase it or do anything else with it, okay? Um, the first technique I'm going to show you is colored pencil. Um, so you can do a combination of any of these three. However, whatever you color, you need to keep that idea of radial symmetry. So if you color one thing with colored pencils, everything in that same shape needs to be done with colored pencils, okay? So just for example, like if I wanted this piece to be blue... I'm going to go ahead and carefully color it blue with my colored pencils using sort of circular strokes to make sure they're blending really nicely. But then I would want to go back and kind of add a little shading. So I'm going to go back to that Sharpie edge and press harder and kind of create that illusion of shading. I mean, it is shading, but it's a little, it's a little bit of a cheat shading. And then I'm just kind of blending out around it so that it's not a harsh outline, that it kind of blends into those shapes, okay? So if I color this with colored pencils, I've got to color this one with colored pencils, this one with colored pencils, and this one with colored pencils, all the same color. We want to make sure that that kaleidoscope really stays a kaleidoscope all the way around. So again, I'd want to color all four of these pieces with the colored pencils but obviously I would take my time go slow and do that shading effect to each of these okay but I want to move on to show you those other options so that you can kind of decide what you want to do and based on what materials you also have at home okay so obviously you can color pencil the whole thing if you want to um, now mine kind of created like a shape within a shape. So I kind of have a, two different backgrounds. I have like the area around these kind of loopy places that can be considered a background or this space in between here can be a background. You can leave one of those white if you want to. Um, but you might want to at the end, change your mind and color it in anyways to have more color on your page. It's completely up to you. All right. Color pencil idea is done. Um, the other option is you can color with markers. I know some of you have some really fancy markers at home, so if you would like to use those markers or if you just really enjoy coloring with markers, you can just do it in marker. However, I do want you to make sure that you're paying attention to your, your brush strokes with your marker and that you're really choosing those juicy markers to color with and not using any markers that are, you know, maybe need to be tossed out because they don't have a lot of life left in them. And that you're really being super careful about your outlines and borders as you go so that you're not sloppy while you're coloring with the markers. Okay, so you can color with markers. That is an option. You can do a combination of colored pencil and marker. You kind of get that nice bright color here and a little softer from the colored pencils. So that's really up to you. Again, the concept is whatever you color, everything that that's shape must be colored that way to keep the concept of the kaleidoscope and that radial symmetry intact, okay? So we've got colored pencils, we've got markers. The last but not least option is watercolor. If you tend to be a messy watercolor painter, don't do watercolor for this project. You're going to you're going to find a little bit of a struggle with it because a lot of you have some small detailed pieces that um, may get a little messy when you watercolor. So the biggest thing with the watercolor portion is that you're going to have to wait. There's going to have to be dry time. If I'm coloring all of these dots, I can't then color this background area at the same time or around the same time because we don't want our color to bleed into the next. We are also not using watercolor paper. So that's another thing to keep in mind that this paper was not intended to have watercolors on it, but I wanted to make sure that it was an option for you for the project. Okay, so if I, again, paint, and again, I'm using the tip of my brush. It's been a while since you've probably used watercolors. My paint goes a long way. 
I just tickle the paper with the tip of my brush to paint, especially those tiny sections. And then if the color starts to fade, I need to go back to my paint palette and pick up a little bit more color. And not all of these dots would have to stay this green. Like let's say I changed my mind, I could go and grab like some of this turquoise and maybe change the color by dropping in and sort of overlaying over the top and mixing. But I've got a lot of paint happening right now. So I definitely wanna make sure that this dries before I paint anything else around it because those little blobs of paint are gonna take a little bit of time to uh, solidify and dry in order to paint around those spots. So again, I use the turquoise there and I use the lime green in those other spots here. Okay. All right, so I think you get the idea. And you can use a combination again. So I could do some parts color pencil and some parts watercolor, but you have to keep it the same all the way around. So the symmetry has to stay identical, regardless of whether you use all three materials, just one material or a combination of two, you just have to keep the same patterning as you go, color and material type to make that kaleidoscope kind of come to life. All right, guys, uh, have fun. Enjoy. Take your time with this. I want these to turn out really, really nice. I think you'll be happy when they're done. And then we'll upload to Artsonia when we're all finished. Have a great day.